Deep in the tranquil forests of the Himalayan foothills, a modest Buddhist monastery stood majestically against the backdrop of snow-capped peaks. It was here that a young novice monk named Ananda had come to seek enlightenment under the guidance of the venerable Thupten Rinpoche. Ananda had always been drawn to the teachings of the Buddha, but found the practice of meditation challenging. His restless mind would wander, and he would often become disheartened by the lack of visible progress. It was during one of his daily Dharma talks that Thupten Rinpoche sensed Ananda's struggle. My dear Ananda, the wise master began, the path to enlightenment is not a sprint, but a journey of patience and compassion, primarily with oneself. Today, I will share with you four timeless meditative mindsets that will help you embrace this sacred practice wholeheartedly. Ananda listened intently, his eyes bright with anticipation. The first mindset, Thupton continued, is to have fewer expectations. The mind is like a wild elephant, powerful yet untamed. Just as you cannot expect an elephant to perform intricate dances immediately, you cannot demand your mind to be still and focused from the very first attempt at meditation. The master smiled warmly. Approach each session without rigid expectations of attaining a certain state. Even the smallest step forward, a mere 0.01% progress, is a victory to be celebrated. Tend to your mind as a gardener would a delicate seedling, with patience and loving kindness. Ananda felt a weight lifting from his shoulders as he absorbed these wise words. He realized that his disappointment stemmed from holding his mind to unrealistic standards. The second mindset, Thupten Rinpoche continued, is to create a sanctuary of time. Reserve a period solely dedicated to your practice, free from the clutches of worldly obligations. During this sacred window, let go of the incessant need to be productive and gift yourself the luxury of being present. The master emphasized, set a timer if needed and embrace those moments as if you have all the time in the world. This psychological freedom will allow your mind to unfurl like a rose in bloom, revealing its innate radiance. Ananda understood the profound wisdom in this teaching. His mind had always been consumed by the tyranny of the clock, leaving little room for the spaciousness required for genuine meditation. The third mindset, Thupton said, his voice carrying the gentleness of a summer breeze, is to let thoughts come and go without clinging or aversion. Imagine yourself as an impartial observer, watching the traffic of thoughts pass by, neither stopping them nor chasing after them. The master eloquently painted a picture. When a thought arises, do not condemn it as a distraction or wrestle with it. Simply acknowledge its presence, like noting a vehicle on the roadside, and allow it to continue on its way without judging or following it. Ananda saw the beauty in this metaphor and realized how much suffering he had caused himself by perceiving his thoughts as enemies to be vanquished. Finally, Thupten Rinpoche concluded, the fourth and perhaps most crucial mindset is to be gentle with yourself. We are all spiritual infants, taking our first tentative steps on the path of awakening. Just as you would nurture and encourage a child learning to walk, treat your practice and yourself with immense kindness and patience. The master's eyes shone with profound compassion as he added, there will be days when progress seems elusive, but trust that every sincere effort plants a seed of transformation within you. Celebrate your journey, not just the destination. Ananda felt a warmth blossoming in his heart, a newfound sense of acceptance and self-compassion that had been lacking in his practice. He bowed deeply to Thupten Rinpoche, grateful for the invaluable wisdom imparted. From that day forward, Ananda approached his meditation sessions with a renewed spirit. He let go of lofty expectations, savoring even the smallest victories. He carved out pockets of time solely dedicated to his practice, treating them as sacred retreats from the world's demands. When thoughts arose, he no longer fought them but acknowledged their transient nature, allowing them to pass like clouds in an endless sky. And most importantly, he embraced himself with boundless kindness, celebrating the courage it took to embark on this transformative journey. Slowly but surely, Ananda's meditation practice deepened. The periods of stillness and clarity grew longer, and he found himself carrying an ever-present sense of presence into his daily activities. His interactions with fellow monastics were infused with a newfound patience and compassion, 
and his heart overflowed with gratitude for Thupten Rinpoche's wise guidance. Years passed, and Ananda's reputation as a skilled meditator and Dharma teacher grew. Seekers from far and wide would come to learn from his gentle wisdom, and he would share with them the four meditative mindsets that had transformed his own practice. Approach your practice with openness, not expectations, he would counsel. Create a sanctuary of time, free from the world's demands. Let thoughts come and go without clinging or aversion. And above all, be kind to yourself, for you are a courageous soul on a sacred journey. In this way, the timeless teachings of Thupten Rinpoche echoed through the generations, helping countless seekers find their way to the path of mindfulness and inner peace. And somewhere, in the vastness of the cosmic expanse, the Buddha smiled, his heart rejoicing in the unbroken lineage of wisdom that continued to illuminate the world with its eternal light. Moral of the story The moral of this story is that meditation and the path to inner peace requires patience, compassion towards oneself, and the right mindset. The four key mindsets shared by Thupten Rinpoche are Number one have fewer expectations and celebrate even incremental progress. Number two, create a dedicated sanctuary of time free from worldly demands. Number three, let thoughts come and go without judging or wrestling with them. Number four, be gentle and kind with yourself on this journey. By applying these wise teachings with an open heart, Ananda was able to transform his meditation practice from a source of frustration to a fountain of stillness, clarity, and compassion. The story emphasizes that the journey is paramount, not just the destination of enlightenment. With the right guidance and mindsets, anyone can find their way on the noble path of mindfulness, one patient step at a time. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe the channel. We appreciate your support.